hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king 2 and today i'm going to be giving you part 55 of uchiha naruto the sage remember to get this one to 100 like as usual share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and after this on this channel i will be posting what if naruto got a new bloodline so stay in tune for that and on my main channel tonight i will be posting what if Sonade was Naruto's mother? So stay in tune for that also. And also, what if Kurama gave Naruto a dojutsu? So after you're finished over here, go ahead and check out my main channel Anime King where you can enjoy over 500 lovely what ifs. And if you're new to this channel it's the first time you hear my voice, what exactly are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join the Anime King family and be a part of the channel. And thank you all for your support and help. And comment down below and tell me if you're new. I'll be replying and talking back to all of you. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the last time we left off, Sunade and Naruto had an argument as Naruto told her that she's letting herself control her emotions. Naruto also went to the fire daimyo as he insulted the fire daimyo and even beat up the fire daimyo's grandson and his son. So after that Naruto came back to the village as Sanade was pissed with him. The fire daimyo threatened to cut off all funding to Konoha. But Naruto knew that he wouldn't be able to do that because if he does that, Konoha won't be the only one that will suffer, he will suffer as well. And we also skipped to the Akatsuki in the last episode as Tobi know that pain in this form is Tendo form cannot defeat Naruto so he's going to find a way to give pain his original body again so he could take on Naruto Naruto know all the secrets of the Renegon so it will be hard to take him down so the last part we left off was when Naruto and Yujiro fall asleep in the bed yeah so you guys can switch across the playlist and check out that for yourself so let's start this new episode Two days later, after Naruto and Yujiro fall asleep, Naruto was about to leave his house as he opened the door to find a young Hayuga girl standing there. Excuse me, Uchiha, is Sasuke here? We have not seen him for three days now. He is not in, Naruto responded. You must be Hayashi's younger daughter, Hanabi. Yes, she said. What do you need Sasuke for? He asked as he closed the door behind him and stepped out. Naruto has not seen Sasuke since he returned to the village but he knew that Sasuke was somewhere inside of the village. He just didn't waste time to search or have Zetsu search for him. I was just curious about his whereabouts. A commander should be there every time his subordinates train and since I did not see him for 3 days, we're getting to wonder if he's still alive or dead. Naruto raised an eyebrow towards the girl's word, but he did not comment. As he began to walk to the military police HQ, as it was still being built, it will take a few more weeks for everything to be completed. Hanabi followed him quietly as she saw that he was taking the direction of their training ground, as the training ground was behind the HQ. There were about 20 Jennings and 10 Chunins. Everyone quiet down when they saw him, as Naruto never came around here to watch them train. It was Sasuke business, but he would just pass by, he would not stay or supervise them or anything. Has everyone been taken through? Chakra control exercises, he questioned Hanabi. Yes, and we have been busy with Taijutsu training over the past few days, Hanabi replied. You need a taijutsu master to teach you taijutsu. Anything less than perfect is useless. Perhaps I should get Guy to teach you guys taijutsu. Naruto said as he think about it for a second. As he walked in front of all of them, as he then folded his hand across his chest. As they all looked at him with mixed emotions. Just by looking at me like that, you have all showed me that you seem tense and afraid. But I guess I should expect that. You're all children, he said. As he then paused and looked back at them. You work under the Uchiha's. 
Uchiyas are not common weak fools. Uchiyas doesn't like weak children. You should be great shinobis. You are being trained so you can become strong. If you guys do not improve, you will be kicked out of the training. So, listen to me good. Tomorrow, you will have a taijutsu master to teach you taijutsu. After 4 weeks, if your taijutsu is still pathetic, you will be kicked out. Understood? As all of them nodded. Good. He then looked at Hanabi. Hayuga, your taijutsu is unique. You don't have to train with them. From today on, you will be supervising. Ensure that they train without slacking off. You will teach them discipline. And if anyone do not follow your commands, you are free to send them to the hospital in tears. Naruto said as he then disappeared in swirling flames without waiting for Hanabi to reply. Later that day, Team Guy was doing their everyday training while Guy was busy doing some taijutsu with Lee as Tenten and Neji were doing their own thing on the side. Neji had his Yuck gun active as he dodged 10, 10 weapons as he spun around. As when he spun around he spot something as he then stopped. As 10, 10 quickly stopped she noticed that something was wrong. Is there something wrong Neji? She asked as she walked up towards him. There is someone watching us he said. He knew who it was. He was a Jonin. He should have sensed the person but he did not. The purse was able to completely wipe away his presence, but he could not hide from the Byakugan. Neji looked over at Guy even though Guy was acting, he knew Guy already sensed a person. As Tintin smiled as she got close to Neji and whispered in his ears, let us teach that person never to spy on someone. Neji smirked. Good idea Tintin, he said as he told her the location of their target. Tenten nodded, knowing what to do. She then jumped back as she pulled out a scroll. As she released an onslaught of kunais and shurikens towards the area. As the person then fly out of the tree and landing in front of them. As Neji rushed forward to attack the person. As Tenten got a good look. It was a hero of the mist. Naruto. As she was in shock. As she quickly snapped out of it. As she saw Neji attack the person. As Neji came into a strike palm. As he strike Naruto directly in the chest. But then there was smoke. As he was switched with a log. Guy then spoke. Good idea my students. Testing Naruto flames of youth. Lee join in. And test your flame of youth. Against an opponent like him. Yes Guy sensei Lee said. As he rushed over towards his teammate. As Guy just looked over carefully. As Naruto reappeared. As Guy was surprised. Naruto Sharingan was not activated. This will serve his students well. Let us see how long you can hold on. Against my students. Without activating your Sharingan. Guy said. Naruto stood there with his arm full. Over his chest as he then spoke. Stopping Lee. I did not came here to dance. I came here to speak with you, guy. As it was as if he dismissed the other tree as he looked towards guy. Normally, guy would have acted or responded in his usual way, but this wasn't anyone. It must be something important. Why Naruto came here to see him? Lee, continue your training with your teammates. Perhaps you may test Naruto some other day, Lee. Guy said as Lee nodded. As Guy walked up to Naruto with a smile, what can I do for you? I have a request, said Naruto. Later that day, Naruto was at the barbecue restaurant and joined a meal with Yujiyo. Since they did not go out, they decided to eat something for the day. Naruto did not mind going out since it will help forget about some things and focus on some things. Naruto, Yujiyo started. As she break the silence that had settled between them. We have never talked about our relationship. She said. Staring at Naruto. Naruto looked at Yujiyo. What is there to talk about? He asked. Like how we are going to proceed with things. Or 
if this is really a serious relationship, these things were important to her. Naruto stopped eating as it was rare that he drank sake as he had a bottle of sake. After taking a few gulp as Yujiro stood there waiting for him to respond as Naruto sighed. I never thought that I would find myself having this conversation but I seem to be saying these words a lot lately. My entire emotional outlook has changed very much. As he paused for a moment, I recall you saying that you're my girlfriend, which made me your boyfriend, so we will have to move on the way that relationship do. Although I am a stranger in that department, I think we can work it out to perfection, don't you think? He asked. Yujiro smiled as she nodded. I have some experience in relationship. It should not be a trouble. Although, you should learn more about how to treat women. You are rough and honestly, quite rude. I don't expect certain things from you. But I do expect you to treat me like your girlfriend. And someone you love. I don't want you to treat me like some bimbo you found in a brothel. She said as she looked directly at Naruto. As she saw a small smile came on his face. As that in return made her smile back. Is there anything else you would like to get off your chest, you jail? Naruto asked. It was the same thing with me. As she got a lot off her chest when Naruto was back in the mist. You jail shrugged but she spoke again. I am a woman and I would like you to see me as such. I have emotion. And words hurt sometime. You should be more careful of what you say to me instead of just saying anything out of the blue. Naruto simply nodded as he remember Mei had said the exact same thing. Well about moving forward you already sleep in my bed perhaps you should move in at the compound. Yujiro nearly choked at the last words. They have not even gone far in their relationship and he was already talking about moving in together? Well, she did sleep in the compound whenever he was around. But if she moved in, that would be like rushing things. Naruto, that would be like moving things too fast. We have not even, you know. Naruto raised the airborne. Hmm? Was his response. We have not slept together yet, as one. She said as she looked directly at him. She was a unfu. She knew how to control her emotions. Sex? Naruto asked as Yujiro nodded. I don't think it's important to have sex before moving in. But if you think it's necessary, it can be arranged. Yujiro looked at him for a moment. As his tone was the same, he seemed to do not really care. Somehow, I feel you're not eager to get in my pants, she said. Huh? Naruto responded. Yujiro sigh, never mind. Let us just give it some time, as she then paused. As she then recalled something. You said you went to the miss. How was the miss cage? As she wanted to know what he spoke about and talk about with her. Fine, was Naruto replied. That is good. What did you do with her? And what do you speak to her about? Asked Yujiro. I sense that there is an ulterior motive to your question, Naruto said as he looked at her. And it seems like you don't like me that much. As he waited for her to respond. But before she did, another voice spoke. Oh great, what is this bastard doing here? As it was Kiba and the rest of the graduate class. Along with Sasuke. Come on Kiba. Don't try to ruin this time for us. By doing something stupid. Choji stated. As he was already hungry. As he could smell the food. Being cooked inside of the restaurant. As long as he doesn't do anything to piss me off like last time. Kiba said in a low growl. Shikamaru sighed. This is going to be a troublesome night. As he shook his head. Come on guys, let's go see to the happy couple, Eno said. Eno, don't you see that they're on a date? It will be bad if we join them, Sakura responded to her best friend. If you guys are going to stand here the rest of the night, you are free to do so. 
I am going to join Naruto and Yujiro, Sasuke said as he walked away from the group. Back with Naruto and Yujiro, Yujiro moved close to Naruto instead of sitting across from him. Naruto, can you do something for me? She asked. What is it? He said. Your academy classmates are coming. Please, don't push them away and act nice for me. If you don't like their company at the end of the night, I will never ask you to do it again. But please, just do it this once. She said in a tone, seemed like she was pleading with Naruto. As the gang finally arrived, as Sasuke was the first to speak, Naruto, he said. As Naruto nodded, Hello you, Jo, he said again. Hi, Sasuke, how have you been? I have not seen you at the compound lately, Yujiro responded. As she looked at Sasuke, because it was a truth, Sasuke hasn't been home since Naruto arrived. I am well, Sasuke stated, as he chose to ignore the other part about where he had been. The rest of the others greeted Naruto as Naruto merely nodded them all, as Kiba was left standing, until Hinata hit him on the head for him to greet Naruto. Oh, hello, mighty head of the Uchiha clan, he greeted sarcastically. The others looked to see how Naruto would respond to this. You stupid little pup, as he was cut off, as Yujiro stomped on his foot. As she gave my expression that clearly said, be nice, or... So what were you lovebirds talking about? Eno questioned, as everyone looked at them. As Naruto turned as he looked at Eno, she has not changed that much, but he can clearly see that Sakura had changed from a annoying little fangirl into a good Kunoichi, as she was also the best medic nin behind Tsunade in the whole village, and she has also gotten that monstrous strength. As Naruto then spoke, if you were out with your friends and you saw Inoichi and your mother on a date, would you question what they were talking about? As he then turned and looked at Shikamaru without waiting for a response, has Temari left the village, he asked. The question caught Shikamaru off guard, but he quickly regained his composure. Why would I know that? He asked. Naruto then spoke again because every time she come to the village, she spent an awfully lot of her time with you. You were not friends when she first came here for the tuning exams, but now the both of you have developed some emotional attachment. This is troublesome, Shikamaru said as he looked at Naruto. As he decided to just answer the question, she's still in the village, he said. Tell her to come see me at the Uchiha compound tomorrow evening, Naruto said, earning look from others, but he ignored them all. He also noticed that Yujiro gave him a curious glance, but he ignored it though. If she was interested, she would have just asked. Shikamaru nodded, but Ino then spoke, so it is true. Are you and her together? She asks. As she has also noticed that Shikamaru spent some time with Temari. Let it go, Ino, Shikamaru said, as he didn't want to be questioned about the matter. Although it is none of my business, I am also curious, Sakura added. As she looked at Shikamaru, Shikamaru sighed, There is nothing going on. I am just her personal guide while she's in the village. Hokage orders, Shikamaru said. Naruto then looked at Sasuke. Sasuke, where have you been sleeping? You said you want to talk to me when I return, but you are not at the compound. I have already spoke to Kakashi about what I want to talk about, so there is no need for me and you to speak. Is that so? But that still doesn't answer my question. But since there is nothing to discuss, I guess you don't have to answer as long as you're not going to plan or do anything stupid. As Naruto then shrugged, as he was not interested to where Sasuke was sleeping. So, Naruto, said Sakura, how does it feel to be the head of the Uchiha clan? I mean, the clan is one of the founding clans in Konoha along with the Senju clan. The Uchiha's are probably the most powerful clan in the elemental nation. There has to be some weight heading a clan like that. Kiba was quick to snort. Clan? There are just the two of them. The most powerful clan is the Hayuga clan. 
and who was in the Uchiha clan slaughtered by a single man. So how could they be the most powerful clan? Kiba said. The atmosphere then became tense as Sasuke was leaking killer intent, but Naruto ignored it and ate his food. Sasuke then gave Kiba a murderous glare. His Mangeto Sharingan activated. What did you just say? He asked Kiba. As Kiba was under Sasuke's murderous glare, no nothing he stuttered out. The killer intent vanished as Sasuke deactivated Sharingan. Good, puppy. And if you ever insult the Uchiha clan in my presence again, I will not forget it. Do you understand, puppy? Kiba glared at being called a puppy again, but he said nothing because no matter how arrogant he was, he was never able to beat Sasuke. Puppy, said Ino as she stroked her chin. That's your new name, Kiba, she said, in a funny matter. Meanwhile, Oniki, along with 650 of his shinobis, stood outside of the sound as he was ready to attack the village. He wanted the real ruler of the village to come out and face him because even his own daimyo was curious about that village because no one had real information on it. As with its little military power, he figured it would be easy to take the village down. You all have been brief on your mission. You will divide in five group and move on to your mission but it will not start now you have one week to own your skill and prepare for everything then after a week you will start your mission but for now you will camp out in the borders of our country said Oniki with a smile the next day the force of death Naruto was currently waiting on Sasuke as they were going to have their spar as he couldn't do it at the Uchiha clan as if they do it, they will end up blowing or destroying the place. As Naruto knows when he gets a bit excited, things don't often go like he planned. As Naruto then felt something as a kunai rushed towards his head, but he simply turned his head and dodged it. As he then saw snakes rushing towards him. As the snakes wrapped themselves around him and tied him up, there were four of them. As even with their hiss and their sharp fangs, Naruto was completely calm. So, the kunai was just a distraction for the snakes to bind me, Naruto said, as Anko appeared behind him. Anko grinned as she looked at Naruto, but her grin disappeared when she realized that he was not even flinching, even though the snakes were binding him. He didn't even look amused, or like he was trying to get away. What are you doing here all alone? Is UJ a company too much for you? I am waiting for someone, Naruto said. As he sent Sasuke Chakra, well, he's here. It was then. Sasuke appeared a few feet away with Takashi. Naruto then jumped out of a tree as the snake was still binding him. Kakashi, what are you doing here? Have I crashed your party? Uncle asked. Kakashi was flipping through his book. I just followed Sasuke here, he replied, not even looking at Uncle. Get your snakes off me, Naruto said. Make me, Anko said as she looked at Naruto. As Kakashi sighed, Anko, please just do it. I want to see Naruto spar with Sasuke. And if you do it, I will. As Kakashi walked up to her and whispered something to her. As the snakes then left Naruto. Naruto then took off his cloak as he threw it on the tree branch. I want to see how far your control is over the dojutsu Kakashi, Naruto said as he looked at Kakashi. But, not now. And here I thought you were going to fight me now, Kakashi said, with a sigh. You will have another time to fight Naruto, Kakashi sensei. But this is my fight with Naruto. I have not even tested these eyes yet, Sasuke said as he activated his mangetio. As Naruto smiled, well, shall we dance? But guys, let me end this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification stay posted. Remember to share to all of your friends on your social media platform. And also stay in tune and check out what if Naruto got a new bloodline and enjoy. And I'm also going to be posting what if Tsunade was Naruto's mother so enjoyed it as well.
and I'm also going to be posting What If Kurama gave Naruto a dojutsu. So stay in tune and enjoy all of the what ifs coming your way. And if you're new and you haven't yet, click that red subscribe button. What are you waiting for, guys? Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join the anime king family and be a part of the channel. And thank you for all of your help and your support. But for now, I'm out of here. Peace.